Well, my friends, Chris Coombs with The Truth in Diabetes. So, decided to get up really early this morning. It's Wednesday, June 22nd. Go for a little bit of a hike and throw in a little bit of trail running. So, over the past three months, we've been doing this 90-day A1C challenge. Well, this is it. It's time for tip number 13 in the 90-day A1C challenge. That tip being, live your life. So a year ago, things started to change for me. You know, a year ago I was dropped about 30 pounds, but I was still plenty overweight. But in that time frame, I went from the guy that wouldn't exercise at all, the guy that's crazy enough to get out of bed a little after four in the morning, drive up to the canyon, go hiking, do a little bit of trail running. That's in one year's time. So again, the tip is, live your life. You hear me talk about disease or destiny. Disease or destiny, it's your choice. So in life we have two choices, being diabetic. We can choose to live the life that we want to live, or we can choose to let the diabetes live our life for us, control our life, and completely destroy our life, if we so choose. The other side of that is choosing your destiny, taking advantage and claiming the gifts that God blessed you with. So disease or destiny, it's your choice. Live your life. So over this past 13 weeks, I've been sharing with you tips, tricks, ways to improve, ways to lower, ways to maintain, to help the A1C level. So how did I do? Started out the 90-day A1C challenge with an A1C of 7.3. A couple weeks ago, I went to the doctor, got tested, and I finished the 90-day A1C challenge at, drum roll, 7.6. So yeah, I went up. I did. So now some of you out there are going, oh, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Well, guess what? Yeah, I do. Just like you, I am human. Just like you, I have my good days, I have my bad days with this disease. But you know what? There was a time when something like this might have devastated me. I just shut it all down and said, you know what, Chris, you're a loser, you suck. I'm done. Peace out. But I feel like I've been blessed with some information. I get to make some better choices. I get to take the time to take care of me. I shared a tip on this very topic. Sometimes life just gets busy. It comes up, it happens. I'll grab something to eat and I'll go completely forgetting that yeah, my body needs insulin and I get to do that little injection thing right now. So I get to take the time to take care of me. In order to choose destiny, you get to take the time to take care of you. You have to decide you're worth it, guys. It's really that simple. It comes down to that choice. Take the time to take care of you. Tip number 13 in the 90 day A1C challenge. Live your life. What is it that motivates you? What is it you're passionate about? What gets you out of bed in the morning? Is it because you have to go to work? You have to go to school? What do you have to do today? Or do you get to? You get to experience the gift of another day to live your life. So that's the bottom line, guys. We don't know how many days we have. I could run down this trail and a mountain lion could spring out of me, eat me for breakfast. And that would be it. I don't know. But I know that it doesn't serve me to live my days getting, dreading to have to do things. I have to be to work this morning. I'm going to get there. But I also got the gift of coming up here and experiencing the beauty that God blessed us with. So that's your tip number 13. Live your life. Okay, next week I'm going to, over this next week, I'm going to be compiling all the names. I'll have a drawing for you next week. Somebody's going to win a $300 value prize from Marcy Locke. Her whole system, her workout DVDs, and her Eat to Be a Fat Burning Machine cookbook, which is honestly, guys, the best thing that I have found for diabetes in the 20 plus years I've been taking this on, giving me a healthier lifestyle. So again, thank you my friends, thank you for supporting the truth in diabetes. 
And remember, disease or destiny, it is your choice.